What's up, y'all? So I don't know how many of you guys have had the chance to watch the movie Jingle Jangle. Unfortunately, we haven't watched it yet, but we're going to do that today. We've been hearing a lot of good feedback about it, so I want to see what it's about. Keish, you ready? I'm ready. I done got the movie room set up for us and everything, so we can have us a nice little night to watch a movie. You know, we can't go to the movies for real, so no, we we're trying to bring it to the house. You know what I'm saying? The bakery. He's in his Christmas spirit, y'all. You can't you tell? <laughs> Dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. All the woods we go, laughing all the way. You know that word. I forgot that. You know that's just like when people forget the words, they be singing it. It's like, you got the melody down, you are all good. Okay. Oh, snack time. So, what are you making for snacks, babe? Um, I'm getting my little cauliflower chips. Oh, snap. No. For real, though, I don't know if any of y'all ever used to put hot sauce on your Doritos, but this is like, it's a vegan, gluten-free, nacho flavor um, tortilla chip, but really they're not tortillas, not corn. They are bomb. And then when you add that hot sauce on there, it makes it feel like back in the day when I used to put that hot sauce on Doritos. I love it. Well, that's why they got the spicy nacho ones now, so you ain't got to do no, that. with that hot sauce, that's another, another level. You got to get it nice and coated. You know what I'm saying? You got to go through the layers. I see. You You can't just put it back on top. You got to get it all the way under there, too. I see. Look, she's in there climbing. Every chip get one, huh? So you never used to put hot sauce on Doritos? Not Doritos. Regular Lay's plain chips? Yes. Yes, but Doritos already come with flavor, so you don't need to add more flavor to it's them. It's bomb with hot sauce, though. Bomb. Let me know in the comments if any of y'all ever put hot sauce on Doritos. Not me. I need you to carry them downstairs for me though, because you know my legs, they struggling from that working out. So uh, I need you to carry them for me. Oh Lord, I got you, babe. All right, here I come, baby. Let's follow you. You and the magical chips. Oh, don't you slip. Oh, don't you slip. My baby walking down to the movie room. Please don't slip. Nacho said don't slip down there. The nacho said don't slip. Look at it, y'all. Hey, sugar, we need one of the mechanical seats you can just ride on. I'm walking like <laughs> I'm triple my age because I'm struggling to get up and down these stairs, but I'm sure y'all know how it is when you're super sore and getting back into it. That's me right now. You know, lady. <laughs> All right, so we're, it is movie night. Hopefully we make it through the whole thing because Keith always falls asleep. I won't be falling asleep on this one. And we are down here with this infamous couch that we are sitting on right now, y'all. I will tell y'all the story all about this couch, but just know I'm going to burn this mug one day. I'm going to put a, 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 a chainsaw. I'm gonna put we got a new one coming a soon. Pipe bomb in this one. This we'll tell y'all the story why yeah. he trips on it like this, okay? Just, just know that this couch was with Megan before I got with Megan, so <laughs> if that let y'all know anything, the couch has got to go. <laughs> Babe, I know you ain't going for the, the search. Yeah, because I didn't see it. There it is, first one. Jingo, Django. I got some my allergies is really messing with me right now. So we just finished watching y'all. And I don't know how many times Keith cried. Like how many times did you cry? First off, it's allergy season. And I can is feel it? like it's down, winter time. Well so. down here we just ordered in our basement, we just ordered an air purifier. So the air down here is just not as purified as it needs to be. So the whole time we were watching this movie. Pollen and dust particles were all getting in my eyes on certain parts, and that's just the, the time of the year. That's what was going on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, no, but I will say, understanding where Keith was coming from, one thing I really loved about this movie, um, it had the magical components of it, but it also really touched on real family dynamics that people experience. A lot of us have experienced personally, so mm -hmm. I get where you're coming from with the tears because. Every every now and I kept hearing a look. No, I, allergies, allergies, babe. <laughs> uh, I ain't gonna lie. At first, I was kind of skeptical on it because the whole jangle, and I kept thinking of the jango, and then like, you know how it's those. It's not even spelled the same. I know, but you know those black exploitation movies. Jamie Foxx. 
I'm saying you know how the black exploitation. Is that what I'm saying? The exploitation. Ex yeah, movies. And I ain't know they'll come on. Hey there, Django, Django, Bingo, Bingo. <laughs> I didn't know how it was going to be, so I was I was already pre upset going in, <laughs> thinking it was going to be like that, but it was totally opposite. It was amazing. You need to watch this with your family, your friends, your cousins, your kids, everybody. This is a sit down. Definitely a Christmas day. Uh, Netflix, just turn it on the TV and everybody sit back and watch it, man. Yeah. Well, uh, we're about to talk about it, though. So um, most of the people who are watching, is hopefully they've probably seen it already right 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 but we'll probably be watching it again because we loved it like, yeah it was definitely probably one of i could give it probably top 10 movie ever for me mm -hmm. like that i've ever actually seen yeah. just for all the components yeah. you know i like magic and stuff so yes was, he does he loves magic it was right up See, my magic don't be working. That You would have disappeared right there if my magic was working. <laughs> For any of y'all who um, have watched, what's it called? Raising Dion? Oh, yeah, yeah, Netflix, yeah, yeah. The little boy that can do magic or whatever. Keith said that when he was younger, he used to think if he stared at something long enough, it will move. So when it comes to magic and all that kind of stuff. It ain't working. Right here. He yeah, loves man, it. He it loves is it. what it is. I believe in magic. And th this movie is all about believing, too. You see it what was. happened when uh, Mr. Django wasn't believing, uh, but he wasn't working. He wasn't working. So, so how are we going? Where do we want to start at with the movie? Well, for one, I didn't realize it was a musical. Oh, uh, yeah. they did, And they did really good, too, because sometimes musicals do a little bit too much uh, musical. And mm -hmm. this yeah. one was just was enough to where it good. didn't get uh, too cheesy. Yeah. And it was some good singing, too. Everybody in there was Off doing the their hook. thing. Off the hook, Miss Johnston, yeah. <laughs> when she, she was, was singing the Geronicus, Mr. Jangle, she was singing Smile to him. I'm like, if he ain't smiling by the end of that, because she was singing like Dream Girls, I ain't going. I like. swear she was. <laughs> But what I like about Gerard, he was focused, man. He was focused on, on, on what he had going on. And I think sometimes when you got so much going on, sometimes it's hard to focus on something that's really good that could be right in front of you, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, and, and that's what I saw with that. But she stayed persistent. Oh, very persistent. <laughs> Real aggressive. Uh, yeah, she but, was. <laughs> but in the end, it shows you that she was there for him when he needed her the most. Mm -hmm. you know, she, right, she was. But she can't drive her fail. I'll tell you that, boy. She's one of the worst <laughs> drivers on TV that I've ever seen. But she got the job done. And what about Mr. Uh, what's his name? Gustav? How you pronounce his name? Gusfunkus or something. I can't, I can't remember. I, I, I can't. Let me can't, see. I got it right here. Yeah. Gustafsson. Gu, 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 Gustaf, gu, Gustafsson. <laughs> whatever the hell his name was. All I know is he was the biggest hater ever. I was, so, was. I was so mad at him the whole movie, you know, he just was, because yeah, at the beginning he, he was such, he was an apprentice of Mr. J's and, and it seemed like he was just real humble and just because that one, that one moment that he didn't have a, enough time to get to him at that moment, he let someone else influence him to kind of betray the person that's been there for him the whole time. That's right. another lesson right there why we can't be focused on what other people have going right. on. Right, right. Because in your in the right time, your thing is coming. What's for you is for you. That's right, man. Um, let me see what else we learned. What what else is uh good? Me... Oh, listen, y'all. No, be no, quiet, listen, Keith. Let me tell y'all something about Megan. This is what I love my baby. <laughs> She's a note taker <laughs> at anything she do in life. You know Look, that, that person in class that take notes on everything. And I knew we was gonna be talking about it. I had to remember what happened. So she took notes, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is probably why she passed a lot of tests and why I didn't pass, because I don't take Correct. notes. <laughs> right, right, right. But go on, but, but she was acting a little embarrassed about her notes. Go on, let me see what you wrote down for part two. <laughs> you know what I thought was kind of funny was, um I don't know if you noticed, but when Gustafsson or whatever, when mm -hmm. he had his song in his factory, it was almost like church music. They was almost shouting. Did you see that? No, I, I guess I didn't well, get the church like that because I was so mad the whole time. Right, he it was like it. the old school dancing, but then it kind of sounded like it had the organ going or something. Ah, uh, yeah, maybe they just had a little <laughs> organ going, but I ain't feel no Jesus wasn't in that room because all no, I kept okay, thinking about right. was him stealing all of the daggone um, inventions, man. I was mad. <laughs> I really jumped into this movie like I'm still mad at him right now. <laughs> I'm glad he's in jail right now. <laughs> <laughs> you remember when he was um, typing on that? I don't know if it was like a, I don't know what that I was. I think that was like, like an old school calculator. But he was like, <laughs> you remember that? Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> he was trying to get that equation down and right. the numbers didn't pop up right. The bank was about to take the crib or about to take his, uh, his shop right then. Yeah, and even Mr. Forrest Ritiker was singing. He was humming a little tune yes. a couple times. Has a, he has a, I, I, I ain't got his voice. He, he has a weird little voice that he uses. <laughs> and let me tell you what's funny. When you see the young Gustaf and or I mean, I'm Jeronicus, or my bad. He kind of had a little lazy eye too. What? No, the oh, dude. Because the dude made his eye a little lazy to try because he knew how it was going to be when he, you know, was going to be older Jeronicus. Because they show, I mean, they show it. You can see it, and then boom, it's Forrest Whitaker with his regular eye. What? That was so not necessary. I'm sorry, baby. I know you got that little lazy eye, and I know how you be feeling about it. <laughs> no, I just don't oh, think okay. it's funny. I'm not laughing. To talk about people. I'm not laughing. Or to point out things. Megan, he it's 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 his signature move. His move. I'm just saying it's his signature thing. He got a lot of roles because of that eye. Right, that make him look crazy sometimes. That can make him look sad. Okay, sometimes. next subject, guys. Be an old boxer. Next subject. <laughs> Dad, you defending Forrest? Forrest did a hell of a job in this movie, man. He did. He did. Or can you imagine, like? the jealousy of somebody taking something from you and then basically for 30 years or however many years it was after that Gust Gustafsson mm -hmm. life was it. the best inventor inventor mm -hmm. for that long you know what i'm saying like off of your inventions and then it was your invention <laughs> that convinced him to be that way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think that was the crazy dynamic about it. Like his one of his greatest inventions at that time ended up betraying him, taking his apprentice and turning. I don't know. It's, it's, it's you got to watch the movie, man. Yeah. The little girl that played his granddaughter, she, was she a, yeah. did an she amazing did job. Man. One thing I was thinking about in the very beginning when the granddaughter journey first went with him. Mm -hmm. And then when, you know, he really wasn't trying to accept her at first. And she was like, I don't have anywhere else to stay. I'm like, okay, so her mom ain't talked to him. She just <laughs> sending her daughter off. <laughs> and then we finally found out at the end that, you know, she wrote those letters. But at first I'm like, come on now. I know that was back in the day, but they just send the kids off like that. Yeah, you know, it's crazy. Cause I didn't realize how far back in the day it was until... Um, when he met his, uh, when his daughter came back, and then she, he, she was like, "You didn't write me or nothing." He showed her all the letters that he wrote. Mm -hmm. Well, I saw one of the letters at the top. It said eighteen hundred. It mm -hmm. showed the, the time frame. So I was like, "Dang, that was, it was back in the day." And you could see how far ahead he was because mm -hmm. in the end, right. uh, the Buddy Three Thousand was a robot, right. and people had never really seen robots before. Now they put a twist on it because the robot can fly and make you talk fly. And, it yeah. can talk and do all that kind of stuff, and hell, it can last for. Uh, to another <laughs> 40 years because uh, she had it at the end when she was right. showing. Um, now, were those her grandkids? I think so. Okay, because that was his great, that was her great, great grand. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah those kids, yeah. man. You know, one other thing I liked hmm. the dancing, the choreography they, was on point. The kids in the street. Oh, oh it was like, yeah, that little. Uh, 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 <laughs> Uh, I was, uh, uh, no, no, that ain't the most. They was like doing uh, a little African uh, dance. African I feel dance like I was in Black is King or something. <laughs> I ain't seen that. I know we need to watch it. Well, I've you seen said it. You, you must already have watched it. Know how, like it was in Black is King. Because I've seen a whole bunch of clips. But sure, like the whole movie. <laughs> <laughs> but they was getting it for real. Yeah, they did. Them. They did their thing. Yeah. And I, well, I, another thing I liked about the movie, the diversity that they showed within it, man. It just gave me a glimpse of how I feel like. The world should be. That movie didn't feel like it was a black and white thing. It seemed like everybody was moving cohesively, mm -hmm. all the singing, all the dancing. It just seemed like how the world should be, and and, um, and I was that was cool. That's what I like. And it was a lot of different races too. I saw mm -hmm. Asians. I saw a lot of different. It wasn't just black, white, you know, Hispanic. It was it was a little bit of everybody, and I, and I love that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So at the end, when um, his daughter Jessica, when she was on her way back home and she was singing and everybody was dancing in the street. Did that make you feel like you was in one of your plays? Because Keith does act, guys. I do. It made I, me think of you <laughs> when you be in a play. Because it really felt like it could be a play. And maybe, I don't I'm know, sure, maybe I'm is, sure but. that's going to be, that, that's definitely going to be a play. But I'm going to tell you something. You threw me off in this, in this, uh, in this movie. Because uh, the daughter, you know, what's his name? Jeronicus's daughter. Jessica. You know, Jessica. Well, 
I, I was looking at her, oh, okay, she's a good actress and all that stuff. And then you told me she was the daggone uh, chick off of power. The bad cop. The bad cop off of power, <laughs> so I cannot stop looking. What was, the, what was her name? Oh, what was her name? It was some weird look, it man. Was. All I kept thinking about her and Tariq, you know what I'm saying? The whole time, <laughs> I just looking at her like, okay, I'm trying to break out of it, but as soon as you said that's Dang, who she was. What was her name? That's all I could see. I don't know what I was going to say Pop-Tart. It ain't Pop-Tart. Jukebox. Jukebox. <laughs> That's what it was. Jukebox. Yes. She was a thug. Yeah, she was. <laughs> but she did a really good job, though. She played that role to the mm -hmm. T. I just, like I said, I just couldn't get past Jukebox. That's Everybody I mean. really did an amazing job. Even um, Gustafus and whatever, who we don't like. And then the little boy, um, what was his name? I don't know, the little nerdy dude. See. But after they had the snowball fight in the street, and I don't know if the police took him or what, I'm like, come on, police officer, you gotta take him with everybody throwing snowballs. But then when the little boy was left in the shop, I'm like, this would be the time when he comes to take the toy. You know what's crazy about that snowball fight? What? It wasn't a lot of snow on the ground. Like, where are they finding this snow? <laughs> everybody somehow got a snowball. It was enough for everybody to get one snowball apiece. <laughs> the matador in the beginning when I liked him, because I didn't like him after. That but he, he was moving them hips. I'm like, oh, he get <laughs> You don't remember? Where'd you sleep? No, I remember. I remember, but I guess I just want to focus on He was doing all his, his salsa dance and stuff. His mechanical like, hips. <laughs> He was. I'm like, oh, he trying to show up Toy Story. Like, y'all ain't gonna beat me. I ain't gonna lie. He did a really good job, too, man. He did. Uh, he did. Because he pretty much was the villain. He, he was yes, the villain. Was. If it wasn't for him, old boy would have never betrayed mm -hmm. uh, Jeronicus. But, you know what I'm saying? That, that also goes... Can't be listening to everybody that's in your ear trying mm -hmm. to tell you this, you know what I'm saying? You, If somebody's been looking out for you, you know what I'm saying, don't betray them. Yeah. If somebody's put that time in, invested in you, don't take their ideas and do stuff like that. That ain't mm -hmm. cool, because in the end, you yeah. will lose. Yeah. So at the end, when they were trying to escape from um, Gustafsson's place, mm -hmm. we're probably saying the name wrong, guys, but hey. You know what I mean, it start with a G. <laughs> right. But when they were trying to get out of there and Jeronicus had to come up with, the, with that calculation. Yeah. I'm like, okay, kids, why y'all staying back by the fire for so long? And then, how are they going to control that they're getting out, like, based on his calculation? Well, I think he was going with the wind current and everything coming in. Because if it wasn't for the fire, then mm -hmm. they wouldn't have been coming in as fast. They probably could have controlled it more. But... Buddy 3000 comes in yeah, again. Yeah, he saved the day. And slows him down just enough to slide in by the hair of their chinny chin chin. Yeah. Jingle jangle, man. Go watch it right now. You Netflix. Netflix done went up on their price, so they, they putting out better movies, so you better go <laughs> on that and check it out. Every time I see somebody else jumping on Netflix, I'm like, oh, the price about to go up. Oh, Dave Chappelle. Oh, Eddie Murphy. Oh, coming. Like, oh, my God. All these movies coming through. They're going to charge us more and more. Did, did you learn anything uh, from, from this movie? Did you take anything from it um i just well a few things so i love like we talked about in the beginning the whole like real life family dynamics of what can happen um in real life and then also even when um you know all of his inventions were stolen and when his wife died in the beginning mm -hmm. It was kind of like, and they even said that in the movie, that his daughter Jessica was almost like she lost both parents because sometimes when, unfortunately, when um, parents go through grieving either a child or um, a spouse or whatever you lose, sometimes it can kind of take you away from those that are still there. Mm -hmm. And you know who came through with a word at the end <laughs> was Miss Johnston when she told him that sometimes or the magic isn't in what you lost but it's in what's still here. Sometimes we have to remember that, that even though we lose things, we still have a lot of blessings around us that are still here with us. That's right. Ms. Johnson was horny. I'm going to tell you all that right what? now. She had a lot of holiday horniness. See, I said on. something all good. And, yeah, because and I, I thought back, back to when with. he kissed her on the cheek and she did that round. Yes, she, she did. did. That, that, little, <laughs> that, that little growl. Oh. What I, I took from this uh, movie was, uh, yeah, it was all of that. It was all those dynamics of, of family um, and, and, and how people grieve and then also just how things kind of come back together because if it wasn't for the granddaughter mm -hmm. sending a letter to her uh, mom and her grandfather then that joint that that joining would have never ever happened it mm -hmm. seemed like he was gonna 
continue down the path that he was going down and it seemed like she had the daughter had kind of moved on in her life but mm -hmm. it's just crazy how things coming together and what i love about it is that in the end love wins in the end how yeah. she was like you could at least been right me, you know what I'm saying, while, you know what I'm saying, all these years. And then for him to open up that cupboard and it's literally unlimited letters in there to say, no, I wrote you every day. Mm -hmm. I just didn't know if you wanted to hear from me. Sometimes you just got to go ahead and be the bigger person. It just mm -hmm. is what it is. There's a lot of relationships out there that uh, probably could be mended, but it's going to take one person to kind of say, all right, I'll be the bigger person and, and just kind of try and mend things. And to me, I, th I, th I think... It's, it's, it's worth it. You never stop being family. And then that's when the pollen was really kicking in. One of the signs. All of the dust. One of the signs. <laughs> from all the construction, because we got to think, you know, new construction and stuff here. So, yeah. <laughs> what, <laughs> what new construction? The stuff, you know, <laughs> the stuff, construction and stuff. We're going to get out of here, y'all. Yes, but we are. once again, Jingle Jangle was an yes. amazing movie. It was awesome. Five stars, two Five. thumbs up. It was awesome. Five stars and a thumb. Make sure y'all check it out, Jingle Jangle, on Netflix. You'll love it. I promise you. We out of here, y'all. Caking with the Bakers.